Today we're going to be mixing our own humic acid. Uh, this starts from a powder, 100% soluble humic acid powder. I picked this up on Amazon. Uh, I'm not affiliated at all with this particular company, but this is the one I purchased. It seemed like the most economical. It was five pounds of powder at 90% humic content. So the mixing instructions say mix one and a quarter pounds per one gallon of water to make a 12% solution. So the 12% solution is what you see in a lot of the uh, pre-mixed um, products you see uh, available in the marketplace. So I figured this would be a good comparable uh, option at a much less cost. So you don't really need a whole lot. You need your powder. And what I did, since this was a five pound um, bag, I went ahead and early on separated it into one and a quarter pound um, little Ziploc baggies. Uh, it is a very, very fine powder and you'll see that here in a minute. So it does tend to get airborne easily and make a bit of a mess. So while I was doing that mess early on, I went ahead and split it all up into four separate baggies at a pound and a quarter. And then I use a little paint mixer. You can get this at any big box hardware store. And then the other thing I picked up was one of these little to two and a half gallon dispensers. And this makes it super easy once I have the mixed solution to dispense it into my uh, ortho dialin spray. So I've got that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I am wearing gloves, although it's not necessary. I do have my one gallon of water. Uh, just know that the smallest, littlest bit of powder can make a huge mess. So I do have some towels handy in case I need those. And I'm gonna be mixing just a little bit at a time to make sure I get a good blend. Uh, if you put in a little bit too, if you put in too much at any given time, you'll find you may start getting some clumps. So I'll basically be adding the powder as I'm running my mixer. And if I need to stop adding powder at any time to get a more thorough mix, I'll do that and then add powder as necessary. So I've got my mix, I'll set that aside. And let me just give you an idea, I don't know if you can pick this up, but um, there's some powder residue on the counter here. Let me just show you what kind of a mess just little residue like that can become. So it doesn't take much, like I said, so try to be as careful as you can when adding power, powder to the water. Avoid splash. So yeah, you probably spend more time cleaning it up than it does take to actually make the solution itself, but it's all part of the job. Now I'll go ahead and add the mixed solution into my storage container. See there's some um, kind of almost like a foam that sits on the surface, but that, that goes away with time. See if I can do this without making a mess.
All right, and just like that, I have a gallon of 12% humic acid. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll put a link to uh, a couple of these products in the description below. And again, appreciate your time.